ever had to give a presentation or a speech and not known where to start? Um, how can you become a brilliant communicator so that you can communicate with some real confidence and clarity and conviction? Well, that's what this video is all about. <laughs> So three ways to become a brilliant communicator. And in fact, first of all, we need to start with three mistakes that we make. So mistake number one when you're communicating with people is this, we drown people in detail. There's this belief that, you know, when we communicate, it's like lifting the lid of someone's head and pouring out all the content that we know about that subject and then closing the lid. Let me tell you, the way to overcome that Slim your communication, S-L-I-M. Say less, impact more. So the words that you're saying, just think, okay, what is the crucial stuff I need to get over here? What is the really important content that my audience needs to hear? Trust me, they don't need to know absolutely everything about that topic. Say more about less. Slim your communication. So the second way in which you can become a brilliant communicator is to recognize the following mistake. When we communicate, we often focus on features and not on benefits. We fall into the trap of telling information, but not selling it. I want to help you think about how to sell your message by thinking about this example. Imagine whether you're talking to an audience of one or an audience of many, that they're all holding up a little sign. And on that sign, it simply has four words. It's a question. And the question is this, why should I care? When you are communicating your message, subconsciously, that's what your audience is thinking. Why should I care about what you're telling me? So when we talk about features, why should I care? But when you start talking about the benefits, then you are selling your message, not telling your message. That will help you to become a brilliant communicator. So here's the third point on how to become a brilliant communicator. And that's to avoid this mistake, winging it. You see, our challenge sometimes as communicators is actually we're fairly good. But the purpose of this video is not to become fairly good, it's to become a brilliant communicator. So think about this quote for a moment. The enemy of excellence is not mediocrity. The enemy of excellence is being fairly good. Let me explain. If that's the standard, if that's what excellence looks like, and we're mediocre, well, there's clearly a gap, isn't there? We know we need to improve. Our challenge is, is when that's what excellence looks like and we're kind of here, we're, we're fairly good. So we kind of like look around and think, do I really need to improve? Because compared to other people, I'm doing okay. Yeah, you're doing okay. But we want to become excellent. We want to become brilliant communicators. So here's three little pointers to help you avoid winging it. And you know what? Just thinking about these three points might only take you a minute, but trust me, that will be a minute of your time that's well invested in helping you to become a brilliant communicator. The three points are these. I want to think about KFD. The K, what do I want my audience to know? So remember, we want to avoid drowning them in detail. What is absolutely crucial that my audience knows? The F, how do I want my audience to feel? Challenged, encouraged, motivated, inspired, reassured. Take a moment to reflect on how you want your audience to feel after you've stopped speaking. And the D of KFD, what do I want my audience to actually do? You know, is the purpose of our communication just to simply entertain or inform, or is it to cause something to actually happen? What do you want your audience to do? If you don't spell out the next step, there won't be a next step. So if you want to become a brilliant communicator, you need to avoid winging it and to apply the KFD principle.
So the three key points you need to apply to become a brilliant communicator, slim your message, say less, impact more. Sell, not tell. Address that question, why should I care? And avoid winging it. Think about KFD. Know, feel, and do. I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, the whole purpose of these is about exploring how do you get the best out of yourself? How do you get the best out of others? How do you get the best out of life? Check out my website as well, thesumoguy.com.